Well, hello everyone, here in with my first LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review for summer 2024, of course. Or just another Sonic the Hedgehog review. In general, but yeah. So, and this one's on Knuckles and the Master Emerald Shrine that is now being released. So, on the front of the box, we have the uh, LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog logo and border that we've been seeing since last year, and picture of the whole set in action and recommended ages is eight and up set number seven six nine nine eight and has 325 pieces and side box art with in-game character with in-game pictures of the characters still going on nice to see there and on the back side of which have a whole other picture of the set and also one of the features of it and other random pictures that there are, same logos, and there. And now on to the manual. Now on to the manual is, oh whoops, wrong manual. So on the front of its manual, of which similar uh, rendering that we've been seeing since 2022, of course. And then the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, add for the builder app, and then on the back, how to win on the online survey, and then all the pieces that come with the set, of course, and then advertisement of the early 2024 sets and the uh, latest back in the latest set trio of summer 2024, which for the other two also got and expect reviews of soon. And then the last building steps. And so now on to the mini figures. That first one, we which have Amy Rosa, which just about the same that came in two sets last year, and also the Hammer Build, of which also the same as that came in the largest set from last year, of which, which, but also this, but and of course it came in come in a kind of smaller set last year, so also not missing out much there. And then as for uh, Knuckles here, of which. Everything of which quite the same as the one that came in the Knuckles Mech Battle set earlier in the year, but however, the only difference is is the a kind of angry mouth print to on the side of which. So at least nice to have a little bit of diversity there. And then last of which is the little critter uh, piece to it, which did come in a couple of sets last year. But. However, I wish kind of nice to see that still going on here, but yeah. And then on the back sides of each of them, I would some slight back torso printing and thing also the same as previously, but yeah. And that's about it with these mini things, which although would have been nice if there could have been a couple other critter pieces as well, but yeah. Now, first of which for the builds is the, the Egg Robo, which is kind of similar that came in, that was seen in a couple other games for that, but also kind of nice, interesting builds to it, obviously, but yeah. So, like, for the legs there. Well, for the legs of which is it's kind of similar to which are also the same as the arms, but obviously kind of simple built to that, like have these curved kind of pieces there, and also these like rounded plates and with uh, cheek slopes onto it, and do get a little bit of good movement on them, but like swiveling in two places for that, and then also do get this flat tile piece with a uh, like 
with this white circle print on it, obviously to be like a screw that's or bolt holding it in. Then this uh, like hip joint that is connected with a uh, mixel jo ball socket joints for that, and then this uh, cheap slope holding it all into it. And although with the uh, kind of feet to it, kind of a little spindly for how they are. Like if you get it in the right positions, do so. And but if you are to stand it on a studded surface, then not completely level since the other plates kind of get in the way of mobility to that. I think they should have been moved down to like one stud more for that. And as for the main torso body kind of area, is kind of similar to the uh, egg neck set on last year but of course a small variant of that and also have these couple of like or it's supposed to be like curved uh, wedge slopes but however are more flat style to that kind of interesting and also the back part of which which is these two cylinder pieces or just simple cylinders with astromech droid heads on top for that and also Enough to act like little jetpacks to fly around, of course. And then, as for this uh, top dome part, is it does have some nice printings to it, like like these red eyes and such. But you can like flip right open, and then uh, a big one, and also with a single jumper piece on it to sit your career big. Onto and close right over him quite nicely for that. And as for the arms of which, which are quite similar to the legs to that, but also do have simple clip hands like this one of which that does have a, a simple fist like piece over it. Then the other which, which just holds on to a, a little blaster made from a simple stud shooter for that, and of course, kind of like flips off like so. That's about it with Egg Robo. And now on to the first uh, side build of which, which is this little catapult here, which is quite simple for how it is. Like comprised of mostly just on a one big large lime green uh, wedge plate to that and also very few plates and also a like little pink tile piece which is where you can smack Amy's hammer onto like in some sets last year kind of and also you have these little ice cream pieces but in purple to act but in this case uses like a projectile for that so how this feature works like is take your Amy mini fig and get the hammer out and Smack the hammer down onto it. So let's try that again, but harder. So, uh, but now again. See, it kind of works out well. And obviously, you can like uh, look at yourself if you wanted, but it's still fun with the Amy uh, hammer feature as is, but yeah. That's about it for that build. Oh, hang on. The last of which is the Emerald Trine itself. Like, as you can see. Like, like some builds of which where it's quite good looking from the front part, but fairly much from the back side of which, but it does have plenty of stuff filled into it, like as for this front section of which kind of built mostly on like kind of large lime green plates to their endles but like one side of which that has this little area that's probably with some grape vines and, so, and such or this little rack with grape vines on it like with these leaf pieces around it and of course some more of those ice cream pieces in purple just to represent uh, various grapes 
and on one side which is a little crate to store the, the grapes in. And then on the other side of which is is the a little rotating kind of area of which to sit down your knuckles minifig on to and also with this little side builder which was just some technic pieces that hold a few cylinders acting as a punching bag so you can have knuckles whip on it like so so although kind of a little cheesy feature but well unless if you can like have them stand on one of the studs for that and it works out just about as much but yeah But then backside of which, which is this simple little palm tree build, which obviously does look quite similar to ones to the palm trees that came in a couple of sets last year for that, but kind of on a smallish look to it. But yeah. Then as for this center part of which, which obviously both of which comprise mostly like uh, jagged slopes in two different sizes, and also the kind of recent fern kind of pieces on there. You know, does have this little stair piece or stairway piece like we see in a lot of sets that goes straight up to it and also does have these three or four pillars in different sizes that have the gen pieces in translucent dark green for that and of course this little center which is mainly for where the of uh, for the uh, mini bill that came in the uh, Knuckles mech battle set would go on to so as some say this which is just kind of annoying for how it is like why not have that uh, that little build of it with the master emerald be included in this set which obviously would have made better sense but but whatever but oh, we can just add it in anyways if you want to but yeah. and of course both of which are resting on uh, two uh, hexagonal plates on both top and bottom of course and as for the onto the back side which with the slight bit of interior to it is as you see it does have a little bit of a chaos cola which did come in the uh, speed sphere or challenge set last year and also this little build as of two cones together probably to represent either a lamp or a lava lamp or something and also these little archway pieces, and or two different archway kind of pieces that go right upwards, like so. And also this little bed build that is mostly tan and brown together, and also these rounded tile parts to look, make it look like it's made of a log, or made from a log, of course, and a pair of studs on there just to obviously sit or stand a mini fig into there if you wanted and of course and I was kind of centered out with those like uh, a plate pieces like we saw in like a lot of sets that there was and also especially the uh, portal in the dimensions starter of course starter pack set of course final brick. So overall I think this was a kind of good set for how it is. Although it could have had a little better selection like like honestly like as some have been saying that that both it and the Knuckles Mech battle set of which is sort of a bit controversial to that like as for the like the like the Master Emerald should have been in this set instead of in that one. Although what could have been better is have that and also the side build of Rouge and her glider kind of build to be included in this set instead of the Knuckles Mech Bow set. But although enough said this set still quite good as is. 
like obviously do get a exclu new exclusive variant of Knuckles, of course, and also finally another set including Amy Rose, of course, and also, and of course, a feature that includes uh, smacking with the hammer, of course. So good to see that go on in sets as well. And also, do get so also barely much of playability to it, like you know, mostly the launching from, or like the stud launcher or on egg robo kind of good is part of that. And obviously Knuckles punching the punching bag to that also amount as much, almost as fair, but yeah. And of course the cap pull as well. So although it would have been nice if there were a couple other features added in, but maybe for the price point would, that would have like, made it worth a bit more, but yeah. And although the Egg Robo of which kind of similar to the ones that came in previous sets, but at least it does have a little bit of difference in this one, but yeah. And if you and so now if you're looking to get this set for your Lego Sonic collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you are looking to have a, a, another version of Knuckles, then definitely pick it up. And if you're, and also if you're looking to get Amy Rose, if you don't, if you don't have already, then this is also a fair enough option for that. But yeah. And so now, if and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.